Hello, sleeping guy. Will you listen to my to my story that I have to tell? Because I have to do some side quests and really I have to tell you a story before I go. No? Fine then. So, hello everybody that are actually listening to me. <laughs> Welcome to this new Dears Axiom on Evolution episode. So in this episode we're going to continually side quest and most likely finish it actually. So yeah, so we're going to meet up with Tyndall which is the guy that did the blackmail on our friend and yeah that was the guy that had the footage so yeah so we're going to deal with him Jensen? What are you doing here? I think you know why I'm here Tyndall I want Corella's security footage back I don't know what you're talking about I'm Seraph Industries Chief of Security I'm pretty sure I can find out about an edited security tape so don't bullshit me Ah oh, shit Listen Jensen, I never wanted things to get this bad I'm not a bad guy. I feel for Corella, I really do. But sometimes, for a good cause, you have to get your hands dirty. Oh. There's a good cause now? Oh, I see. You think I'm selling the stuff, right? I understand why this would seem like an obvious motive, especially to an ex-cop. But trust me, you shouldn't always take things at face value. I'm not selling the neuropazine, I'm giving it away. Giving it away? To who? To the people who need it. You think everyone gets augmented by choice? No. Shit happens. And then what? You're saddled with neuropazine injections for the rest of your life. And that shit costs money. But what choice do you have? Without the drug, you'll die. Rejection syndrome, crippling pain. That just ain't right. So I did the only decent thing to do. I stepped up. I can respect that. But blackmail is still blackmail. Corella wants out, and I'm here to make sure he gets out. Man, this whole thing is becoming way too much trouble. I've even got two local pushers on my back because they say my philanthropic actions are undercutting their profit. That's not your only problem. A gun-toting client was waiting for you in your apartment earlier. Really? In my apartment? Shit, the dealers probably sent him. Tell you what, I'll deal with the client later. You take care of the dealers, and the footage is yours. Okay, I'll help you out. But you better not be playing me. You give me way too much credit, Jensen. I'm a security tech, not a hardened mobster. The two pushers go by the name PG and BK. They hang out in the alley near the basketball court. Just make sure they never bother me again. Deal. Right, so let's locate those dealers and deal with them. We can always kill them, but we're in the hardest difficulty, and if we kill them, then all the gangsters, all the other gangsters will go against us. So we need to be really discreet about this. Right, so here they are. Let's quick save. And let's find a way to deal with them. It's probably going to be pretty easy. Just need to stun this guy and get this guy. There we go. Quick and painless. And they're both disabled only, so they won't die. Right. Oh yeah, we still have that damage upgrade. Uh, and we can't... Alright, let's see. We can combine it with our pistol or the shotgun. Um, I'm going to go with the pistol because I do use it more. Uh, Alright. Okay, he has a machine pistol. I don't need that. I don't really like the machine pistol. I don't think it's really that usable. Oh god! That's what happens when you when you throw balloons around when you're augmented. Yeah. Augmentation do have their their uh, disadvantages, except the opposite, of course. Being the most major one. Alright, Tindall. I've done what you wanted. Look, I told you. If you want me to give you that security footage, you're going to have to get those pushers off my ass first. That's what I did. I've taken care of the dealers. Now hand over the footage. Thanks, Jensen. Listen, I know it's not something you did from the bottom of your heart, 
But still, you saved my ass. Here's your footage. Listen, Tyndall, I know you're trying to do the right thing. But we have to do things by the book, or we'll just have chaos. I'll put you in contact with someone inside Seraph Industries. They may be able to get you neuropathy for those who need it. Seriously? You'd really do that? Wow. I never would have expected this from you, Jensen. I really appreciate this. Tell Corell I'm sorry. Yeah, because it, he's, he's doing the right thing. So, really... I guess we can offer some help. As long as we're not directly into it. So yeah, so let's go and see Carella and then we'll continue the main story. I'm, s I'm deeply sorry about like the uh, two, three episodes of side quest. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. So yeah, so we're going to continue with the main story right after that. I got the footage. You owe me one, Tim. Yeah, you got that right, Jensen. I mean, thank you so much. This is my life I just got back. Listen, I got a hold of a weapon mod. It's not much, but I figured a guy in your line of work could use it. Listen, I know you were trying to do a good thing, and I respect that. But you should do it through proper channels. Next time you might not get this lucky. Yeah, you're right, Adam. I know you're right. Listen, thanks again. And now he's just leaving. Alright, so we have a laser targeting system, which is pretty useful. I think this whole quest was worth it just for this. Let's see. Okay, I'm just going to wait until I get an assault rifle for that. And actually, I think I'm going to reorder the weapons over here. I'm just going to put the weapons first, and then I'm going to put the other stuff. Or else, that's going to end up being confusing. Right, there we go. So now, let's go with the main missions. <laughs> it's been a while, but now we're ready to continue. So first things first, we need to go into Limp and see what's, what it's all about. So Limp, basically, for those who don't know, is the, is the center for the augmentations. This is a place where people get their augmentations and where we get on the Ropazine, everything like that, it's all in limb. Pretty useless cutscene, ah, in my opinion. Mr. Jensen, David Serov told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be on neuropazine shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrode seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well, Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name, thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please, take a look. By the way, she's lying. <laughs> We don't have unlimited Praxis kits. We do have a few, but alas, we have to get... Um, when we get two in the limb clinic, we have to wait a little while before we get any more, so... But still, it's Praxis kits. It's useful. And also, let's pick up some of that stuff. It's pretty useful for healing. And we don't need that Typhoon ammo. That's going to be useful later. 
very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. Right. So, we got some more practice points, so now we can buy some more abilities. Let's see what we want. Hmm. Just going to have a look. Move and throw your objects. You know, I think it's going to be pretty useful. I'm going to buy that. Also, increase inventory size because I like having a big inventory. It's always useful. And let's see, stealth, en stealth enhancer. Mm, nah, won't buy that. Okay, I'm just having a look at stuff. Okay, cloaking system, reflex booster. That's going to be pretty damn useful if you want to go stealthy. Uh, right, yeah, let's buy the energy speed up thing. So now our energy speed up, our energy recharge is, is way faster. So that should be pretty useful. Right. Adam, are you finished at the clinic? Yep, for now. Good. Right now, I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. Eh, not worry. I convinced the guy to let me in earlier. Right, so now we can have a look at the a dead purist body, if you remember, the uh, the hacker, the purist hacker that had some augmentations into his brain. Now we're going to finally see his corpse and see what's going on with him. Maybe I have some clues about the conspiracies going on. Who knows? Hello, Mr. Officer. Back again to Detroit. Nope, I forgot to close that. <laughs> Should be a bit more a bit more discreet about the stuff that I'm doing. They might suspect something, so. Hello there. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bolt would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it. Other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The hub's been detached, but I left it in the skull, as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. And then I'll let you do your job. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Alright then. Also, one funny thing is, if you just drag the corpse just a little bit around, it will alarm him, and then the entire police station will be against you. <laughs> I'm not kidding. If you just drag the body just a little bit, the entire station will want you dead. So you better not touch that corpse more than just picking up the um, the neural hub. Right, so I'm just going to go here and read an ebook in front of this guy's face. You guys can read it if you want. Right, so he's typing with a. Oh, that's actually old paper. Hmm. Why are you not using a tablet? You should be using one by now. It's 2027. He's old style. I guess. 
Today, people will be using iPads. Uh, right. I'm just looking around because I think there is an item somewhere hidden in this room. Oh, well, this is not an item, but this is pretty fun. Wasting water. Okay, well, never mind. Seems like there's really nothing over here. Hmm. No. No, pistol. Remember, always look into the lockers because that's that's pretty useful in this game. Right, so just have a look in there. Pick up some ammo for that because we're going to pick up an assault rifle eventually. And oh, it seems like everything is good. Hello, I did not steal your lockers, don't worry. You know, the symbiote music, it, it's pretty cool. I like it. This basement. Ambient. Just a few sounds, you know. It's really, really subtle, but... It's just great. Right, time to get to our, our apartment. Which is pretty far away. I think I'm going to cut to when I'm actually going to reach it. So yeah, so I'll see you guys there. Alright, here we are. Also, one cool thing that the game, that the designers of the game has been doing is <laughs> those things they they had a lot of inspiration for the for the roof the ceiling design with the lights they're always pretty original in this game I noticed Where that are you, Jensen? I, haven't got all I was looking at the lights Hello, just leave me alone I'm almost in my apartment now well when you do get in there connect the neural hub to your computer I've created a secure tunnel and I'll take over remotely you can access my personal computer who do you think configured your security protocols? Well, that's a good thing to know. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. I just have that obliga obligatory look. I just have to look at these things. God, this looks awesome! Obviously, as you know, I love Cyberpunk, and there could be a good story that could be told here. You know, we could just turn off all the HUD elements and just look in the window and tell you a story, along with the music. A story about the dystopian world. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, here you have some advanced clock building stuff, so if you want to read that, go ahead. I'm not going to read it, but you guys can if you want. Not sure why Adam has that. I guess he has interest into clocks. Oh yeah, actually. Huh. I never actually looked at this stuff over here. <laughs> I guess you could assume that I that I have, but no. Even though I played the game five times, I did not really have a close look at this interest of Adam. Let's see, what is this? Army stuff. Hmm. With a lot of the same book. Why? Is he reselling them? Child and violence. Narcotics. Well, anyways. Let's go and continue with the main story. And not look at every element and venable. Or else we're gonna end up... Wasting an episode or two. Pritchard. The hub's connected. I know. Now be quiet and let me concentrate. I need his name, Pritchard. Not his entire genetic history. That's not his DNA. It's the data he was trying to steal from us before he... My god, Jensen. Your suicide hacker didn't kill himself. You obviously didn't see his brain spidered all over the floor. No, no, 
you don't understand. The wet drive modification in this chip, it allows Complicated computer you. stuff. It turns you quite literally into a human proxy. So he wasn't working alone. Someone off-site was doing the actual hacking. Exactly. And whoever it was tried to hide his location by using multiple satellites. But I may have just traced him to here. An abandoned factory complex in Highland Park. I just like the dramatic effect. Because if we're lucky, whoever pulled our terrorist strings might still be there. Just see the dramatic zoom. <laughs> when he when he just keeps when he just gets the, the tracking, it's just dramatic zoom. Well anyways. <laughs> It's just too cinematic, I think, for computers. In real life, that will be much more boring. We'll just see a bunch of text. <laughs> Pretty much. And not special After Effects stuff. Just imagine how silly that will be. Just a hacker hacking in real life, and then he ends up finding... Oh, God damn it, David. Let me guess. You're sending me to Highland Park. Not just yet. Frank's figured out why the network's been compromised. There's a persistent transmission coming from Derelict Row. Street gang territory. Well, our dead friend was posing as an Antioch. Who better to hide with than the D-Row ballers? Right. I'm on my way. Alright then, so like I was saying... Uh... I actually forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah! Just imagine how silly that would be if we would have After Effects stuff like we just saw if someone would manage to hack a computer. Like we just see a normal Windows 7 computer and then security. once someone actually hacks something with this Windows 7 computer it just transforms into this super computer with super magical effects with... I don't know. <laughs> Transform it to a cyberpunk computer like we just saw there. Because really, when we're going to actually reach this level of technology, we won't be having those fancy computers. I'm sorry, but that is pretty much impossible. You don't want to include fancy effects for everything. Jensen, I'd appreciate it if you instructed your street informants to use more conventional means of contacting you. What are you talking about, Richard? I mean, I found a message stapled to your door. Colo. Alley off Bagley Avenue, Ezekiel. How cryptic. That's near Seraph HQ. I'll look into it. Oh, and it's Cholo. <laughs> Alright, so first we're going to go and uh, find that mysterious informant. Uh, yeah, actually no, we're going to do that in the next episode because that's... Yeah, we need to do that and then go into the street gang territory to find out the signal that is blocking us so yeah so we're going to do that so thank you all for watching this wonderful wonderful episode of Deus Ex Human Evolution where we found out about the yeah <laughs> the fancy computer effects and the lights on the ceiling that are, those are our biggest discoveries in this episode so yeah so thank you all for watching and I'm gonna see you all next time